number of viewers have left comments stating that they have not been able to get the update through the Astro software. The reason I've only recently looked into this though is because the comments have become more prevalent over the last month or two. Prior to this, some people's got fixed when I've talked to them because they had pre-owned headsets and they just had to skip the firmware part and continue with the rest of the video. But for the number of people who commented more recently, like this person right here on the middle of the screen, Tate, my headset is the exact same as yours, so they have the same headset as me. They have the same mix amp. They tried it with and without the optical cable, and they're just not getting the update. So after looking around and doing some digging, I found some posts on Reddit from different Astro spokespersons where they've discussed there's a bug and also linked the firmware necessary to fix it. In the post I found was only the Generation 3's firmware, and this is all this person needed, so I mentioned it in the comment I've left to them and basically explained to them via the comment how to do it. I figured a video would be better for everyone and I could also help people that doesn't have this specific version. As you can see though, it's helped this person, it's helped a few others that have come across it as well, like these two. So this video, I'm now going to show you how to get the firmwares for all of the headsets and mix amps, depending on which you have, because it's different for each one. Now, as you can see on screen, I've created a Google Drive that contains the firmwares for the A40s, the A50s, both Generation 3 and Generation 4s of each of them. I've also included a picture so you can sort of identify which one you actually need. Um, the software won't let you install one that isn't appropriate for your generation or for your type of headset, the A40, the A50, but it just saves you a lot of time and hassle. So we're going to test it out real quick. So we're going to go to the A40, we're going to go to Generation 3 because this is the one I own. And as you can see, there's the picture so I can identify it. And you want to go to the firmware. You obviously want to go to whichever corresponds to your actual mix amp. So if you have the A40s, go to the A40s. If you're Generation 4, go to that specific generation and get that firmware. You want to right-click it. You want to click Download. Select the place to download it to. I'm just going to put it Download folder and click Save. Now I'm going to show you how to install it using the Astro software. So to be able to use the mix amp with the Astro software and the PC, you first have to connect it up correctly. First of all, you want to put the USB into the PC and then put the other side, the, the mini USB area, into the USB connector on the mix amp. You then need to put it into PC mode. If you have a newer generation mix amp, so the generation 4 or the Astro 50s, there's a switch on the back of the mix amp base or the base station, the A50s, that says PC mode, so switch it to that. But for us generation 3 mix amp users, what you need to do is go to the power button and hold it for five seconds so that it turns white. As you can see, it's now white and that means it's now in PC mode and will be recognized by the software. Now then, as you can see, we've got the software launched. It's ready to be used. Mine's already currently at the latest firmware because I had the update. Uh, for generation three, it should be three, six, seven, eight, nine. I will now show on screen a table which shows you the latest firmware versions for whichever Astro device you're using. Now, to be able to install these manually, what you want to do is go up to the cogwheel. Go to update firmware manually. And then you want to select the firmware you have. You click open. And that will open in the software and, and you can begin the update. Once this is done, it should be completely done and it will guarantee to work on the Series S or the Series X. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. Leave a like on the video. It really does help the channel grow. I've been trying to do my best to get it to grow. Sorry these tech videos have been so inconsistent. I'm very big on Halo and tutorials and things. You know, Xbox in general. And this is the sort of things I like. So thanks for watching, guys. And I shall catch you guys later.